FMU, you're on the air. Hello, is this Tom? Yes, it is. Hey, it's Mehmet Okur, my man. How are you? Hey, it's Mehmet Okur, the NBA star. Oh, I appreciate you saying I'm a star. Uh, yes, well, you definitely are a star. You are, uh... That's why you're the best, my man. Well, thanks for calling, Mehmet. Thanks it's... for uh, having a show for me to call. Well, you're welcome. This is pretty exciting. How are you enjoying the uh, the off season? Well, you know, it's uh, it's always nice to have uh, time off to relax, spend time with my uh, my girlfriend or son. But you know, I'd much rather be in the playoffs right now, even though they are over. But you know what I mean? Yeah, the the you know the you. I guess it was a little bit of a, a change of pace for you over the last two years. You were getting both sides of the uh, the picture. Yes, I went from, a, I don't know how many degrees I turned, uh, 180, I think. That would be the full? Went one way and then uh, went the other way. That's right. You were, uh, you were last, last season, the 2000... 2004 season you went to the the top of the mountain went to uh, yes championship mountain yes you were at the top of championship mountain or i guess you could just go to any part of championship mountain is good not just the top of it it's all it's a great view no matter where you stand okay so you hold went... on i think my uh, girlfriend is here hold on hello <laughs> hey baby come in up sorry man that's okay. So, so you, uh, and then, then you, then you, uh, you, you, uh, left the Pistons. Yeah, I took, uh, you know, hey, I, I got nothing but, uh, respect for Coach Brown, but I got to play. I got to forget, I, it's not going to do me good to sit on the bench. You, I, you need I, some burn out there. I need to, uh, I need the ball. So, I'm writing a sequel to, uh, Keyshawn Johnson's book called "Give Me the Damn Ball Part Two: The Mehmet Okur Story." That would be your that would be your autobiography. I have the, it's like the same, but basketball. Get me the ball. Just give me the damn ball. Part two. Part two: the Mehmet Okur story. Oh, that's uh. Here she is. Hey, sweetheart. Say hi real quick. Hi. Hey, she's the best. That's your girlfriend? That's her. That's, uh... Anyway, so yeah, I'm working on that book, because I... That's why I left Detroit for Utah. Coach Sloan is great. Yeah, so so you jumped to the uh, Utah Jazz. We got Boozer. Thought things were looking good, and uh, didn't, uh, you know, uh, did not work out so great, but... You you guys started off strong too. There was a, there was a, a, a point where people were impressed by the uh, the the play of the Utah Jazz at the beginning of the season. Yes, it started the night. Uh, to me, it was like catching a wave, and then the wave goes away. And and then uh, you know what surfing is. Yes, yes. That's what I mean. You, you, you reacted like you did not know what I was talking. Oh no, no. I was just, I, was, I, I, I get it. You, you know what it's like. You, you were riding the wave. You ever surfed? No. Have you? Oh man, you got to try it. I have First never. First time I ever did it. Two weeks ago. Really? Yes, I went to Hawaii. Well, that's fantastic. The fiftieth state is number one, in my opinion. It, it the, the the fiftieth state is number one. Yes. Well, that's that's kind of a nice statement. Number fifty in the order, number one in my heart. Well, that's fantastic. So you really liked Hawaii? Loved it. Please like. Okay, you loved it. I should say to everybody, we have Mehmet Okur, the uh, NBA star, who has called the program uh, a couple times to uh keep us up to date with things and uh now i guess well what are you uh did you watch the playoffs uh, i watched a little it was hard but you know i want to see my old friends 
in uh, the Detroit, see how they do, and uh, too bad they could not repeat. Well, they they went all the way to a uh, a game seven. How about that, huh? I, I guess you couldn't, uh, you can't go any further than that. No, not unless they added one more game, a game eight. Yeah, then I guess it would have to be a best of nine, though. Why is that? Oh, right, because it, would be you cannot, four. it could be four to four, and then what do you do? Exactly, then you don't have, like, co-champions. I always feel like there should be an even amount of games, and if it's tied, you decide it with something else, like you have a boxing match or a, you have a, you take the two best cooks on the team and have, like, a cook-off. So you, you'd actually kind of mix... Mix the uh, the the field of competition up a little. Sure, bit. you play basketball, and if you can't solve it in an even amount of games, and the last thing is, uh, I don't know Rashid Wallace is a great cook. You have him. You go up against uh, whoever on the Spurs is their best chef, and uh, they do like Iron Chef. They make a meal, and uh, the Japanese judges decide the NBA champion. So you'd kind of have you know, like Rashid Wallace cooking something up, and then. Like Bruce Bowen on the Spurs would, if he was their best chef, would also. If he cooks like he plays defense, it would be close. But uh, Sheed, uh, oh man, he's good. He he knows what to do with food. He's a good cook. Yes, you go on his RashidWallace dot com. You can get a, a Sheed chef jacket and a chef hat. R- really. Yes. So he has merchandise like that. Great stuff. I have a Rashid polo that I wear at least once every two weeks. Now, have you ever thought about entering that field for yourself? What's that, cooking? Well, no, just merchandising. Are there are there Mehmet Okur? It's in the works. Let me just say that, but I can't really talk more about it. Uh-huh. Starting next season, you should do a Google for uh, MehmetOkur.com. You'll, you'll like what you find. Or you're, so you're going to kind of take that step forward and uh, and and enter the world of uh, e-commerce, I guess you'd call it. Yes, I'm going to throw uh, my hat in the ring, and uh, it's going to have. I just decided the surfing theme to it, and the basketball, of course. But there will definitely be maybe a Mehmet surfboard, uh, along with like you know sweatbands. T-shirts. So, so there'd be different products available, and uh... be basketball, but you know, in uh, the same, um, you know, the same way that you know, you go to RashidWallace.com, and he's, you know, he likes to cook. It's a, you know, a passion of his outside of basketball. So he has a, um, you know, a chef hat with his name on it. I will, you know, surfing for me is my new. Next to basketball, my next passion. So I will might have a maybe a surfboard, and the pattern is uh, like a basketball. So well, that's pretty. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. It would be very cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Could you imagine that? You would not know what to do with yourself if you were surfing and you saw me on a basketball, not shaped, but uh, you know what I'm saying. It's a surfboard, but. It looks like it's made from basketball. Yeah, I mean, would it actually... Basketball leather. Like, would it be the texture of a basketball also? It would look like it, but when you touch it, you'd be like, I cannot believe it's not. That it, How real it is. You'd be ready to run your hand across, like, the bumps of it, and then it would be completely smooth like a surfboard. Just like a surfboard. That would be pretty amazing. That would be great. It will be great. I, uh... I look forward to it, and we'll keep our eyes peeled for MehmetOkur.com. i got to tell you, man, I'm, uh, I'm excited about uh, this kid we got tonight. I have not even been following the draft. How is that going? It's going nice. We got uh, De'Ron Williams from Illinois. You think he can... Uh... Oh, he's going to feed me the rock. All right. That's I what already you... called him tonight. That's what you're looking for, is somebody to kind of... kind of uh, the damn ball. Just like your book, part two. Part two. So you just want somebody to kind of feed the post. The post, I got a nice... I'm working on my little hook. 
Uh, I got a nice second shoot. I'm the I'm the complete deal. Well, that's that's. Uh, I think it should be an exciting year. Now, do you now when you look at the way- this kid Andrew Bogut went number one. Andrew Bogut, he he went from Utah. From uh, yes, he went to the uh, to the uh, Bucks. The Bucks. I can't yeah. wait to introduce him to my elbow. <laughs> that's that's uh, like tough guy talk. I'm kidding, of course, but uh, it's a physical game. It is, it is a physical game, but you're going to be in there. Uh, you know, you, the rookies have to get to get uh, you know a couple. Uh, I have a lessons. welcome to the NBA present. It's going to be very nicely wrapped. He's going to uh, get the box in the mail. He's going to open it. It's going to say from uh, Mehmet Okur. He's going to open it. When he opens the box, out comes my elbow. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. It's from Mehmet Okur. Yes. Now, now, if you look at the way the Pistons uh, played that game seven, oh. you could actually say... What what do you think the missing piece was? Uh, some people would say it was just someone inside who could could help with uh, Tim Duncan. Are you saying me? Yeah. Do you regret it? You could if you would have stayed. They could be back to back champions. You know, hindsight is good vision. So I don't really. Um, it's hard to say. What is perfect vision? What is it? Yes. The numbers. Oh, the numbers. Okay, I'm sorry. You look 2020. Hindsight is 2020. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Hey, okay. you know, if I'd been in there, would I shut down Tim? Hey, he's great, but uh, we probably would have won. So you think you think you would have made the difference? Maybe. I'm not that. Uh, I don't have that much ego, but. Uh, Hey, I'm a big guy, and uh, would not have hurt it us. Well, I guess you now the 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 uh, order of the day is getting uh is you getting the Utah Jazz to the next level, getting in the playoffs. Let's bring the trophy where it belongs, Salt Lake City. That is where the trophy belongs. That's the is. Now you can bring your championship expertise to the picture. Uh, I did it last year a little bit in the. Um, a little bit. You know, like I said, uh, we started hot and uh, we rode the wave and then the wave went away, so. Well, it's uh, it's going to be an exciting year for Mehmet Okur coming up. Uh, training camp is in October. And you, you, what will you be spending your summer doing? Well, I tell you, I'm already planning my next my next surfing trip. That's priority one right now. Okay. I'm going to go to. Uh, I'm going to fly to California next week and go hit the the surf shops. Probably go to the Zephyr shop. I'm really excited for Lords of Dogtown. Yeah, which is like a uh, surfing skateboarding, skate- but skate- it's got surfing in it. So yes, because it started as uh, it started as ska- surfers who who uh, took their took their uh, their 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 game to the uh, to skateboarding. Yes, I'm going to rent a endless summer, endless summer two, step into liquid, blue crush, all the surf movies, so I can. Uh, you know, get uh, familiarize myself with the the look, the style, and then I'm going to practice, take lessons. So you're really going to just be a part of the culture. As much as I, as much as I can, I'm going to take a lesson with that guy. Who's the extreme guy, Laird? Laird. Uh, oh, what is that? The guy I saw him in an American Express commercial. Yeah, from the commercial, right? Yeah. Um, I are going to. Uh, he's going to give me private lessons. Laird Hamilton. Laird Hamilton, exactly. He's married to uh, Gabby Reese, very tall. Yeah, she was the uh, volleyball. The, the volleyball player. Well, they they could have children, and and those children could be as tall as a, a Mehmet Okur. Could you or... imagine those kids? Oh my God. Those kids will uh, probably rule the world. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, 
So it'll be exciting to see if their kids get into professional sports. I'm excited to meet his dad, Bill Hamilton, 60s surfing legend. I guess this will be an exciting trip for you, though. Oh, I can't wait, Tom. I will uh, hopefully call you from, uh, I don't know if that will sync up, the Hawaii time with uh, New Jersey time, but uh, we'll try to figure it out. And even if it's, let's, we'll do the time difference. Even if it's 3 in the morning, I'll get up to call your show to tell you how, well, how I'm doing. Please do. We're, we're going to be here. Okay. Uh, well, Matt, Matt? What is there any? What, is there anything else you want to uh, want to uh, fill us in on? Anything you want to to uh, to let us know before you head out to the uh, to hit the uh, the waves? Um, not that I can think of. Uh, just keep on doing the greatest show on the radio. Well, thank you. It, it's the best show on WFMU. Is the name of the show. And uh, I recommend the. Uh, don't know the brand name, but uh, his brown rice snaps, the black seaweed, the black black uh, black sesame flavor is good. If people are shopping, you might want to pick some up. Black sesame seaweed. Black sesame uh, brown rice snaps. You won't even believe the first bite will blow you away. Really? That's uh, my parting words for your listeners. All right. Well, people can check out black sesame brown rice snaps. Tom, always a pleasure. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, Mr. O'Cour. Um, so I'll talk to you from my vacation. Please do. We look forward to hearing it. Have a good time uh, getting uh, surfing. Hey, man, you have a great time living life. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You got it, you man. take care. Okay. Okay, it's Mehmet O'Cour, everybody. Good night. Good night. Mehmet O'Cour, the NBA star.